Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us at the market site in Times Square, New York City, we have Robert Garrett. He's the CEO of Hackensack Meridian Health. He'll also be talking in Davos 2020 about the global problems of mental health and what the industry is doing to tackle those issues. It's great to have you back with us. Hi, Jill. Market site, as always, and it's encouraging to see that this is a big emphasis for Davos 2020, where global mental health awareness, it's a real problem. It's a huge problem. There are a billion people across the planet that have um, mental health illness or they have addiction disorders. It's an it's a incredibly big problem. Two-thirds of those people are not getting treatment for it for a variety of reasons. It could be the stigma, it could be a lack of education, lack of providers. Um, so it's a huge problem. And here in the United States, um, one out of five Americans have some sort of mental health um, diagnosis. So it's really significant here as well. And what's very disturbing is for, for the first time in a long time now, it's three years in a row that our life expectancy in the U.S. is actually going down oh. because of increased um, suicides and um, opioid addiction and some of the, the overdoses that are resulting from the opioid addiction. So there's no doubt it's a, a big problem here in the U.S. It's a big problem globally and we're happy to address it in, uh, in Davos so that we can really get the various stakeholders to work together and, and, and start to come up with some real solutions. And it's really important that you're doing that kind of work because for people who do not have mental health issues, it's so hard to identify. It's challenging. It's not, you know, the, um, globally there's been a big push to cure cancer, cure AIDS, uh, women's health issues and so forth, but you can't see a mental disorder. You can't, but you know, we have to start thinking about it like another chronic disease, like mm -hmm. cancer, like heart disease, like diabetes, and start to treat it that way. And there's some real life um, solutions that we're gonna talk about in, uh, in Davos. So as an example, here um, in the States, in, in New Jersey, we're leading a, a pediatric behavioral health collaborative, which is a partnership between the federal government, the state government, providers like Hackensack uh, Meridian um, Health. And what they're doing there is they're screening children. Um, so um, kids are coming into pediatricians' offices and getting well checkups. While they're uh, getting their well checkups, they're screening them for uh, potential behavioral health issues. So that's a great um, area of prevention. And al already over 165,000 children have been screened and 10,000 have been uh, referred for follow-up uh, care. And that can really prevent um, you know, violent outbreaks in the, uh, in the future. So I, I think the, the emphasis in Davos is gonna be on collaborators like that, where you know, the government, um, the private sector, um, community organizations are all getting together to, um, to address this. Another issue really that's significant that we're gonna address is lack of access to, uh, to, to behavioral health care. So a good real life example is um, what we've done at Hackensack Meridian in New Jersey. We've opened the first in the nation behavioral health urgent care center. Think about it, um, patients with mental illness uh, usually have to go through a crowded and complex emergency department. They gotta compete with patients who have had strokes or heart attacks or have been in motor vehicle accidents. Now they can get treated very, very quickly in an urgent care setting by a psychiatric provider. And if they actually need a consultation by a psychiatrist, through technology like telepsychiatry, they can get that consultation right away and then they could be referred for the appropriate follow-up. We just opened this uh, a couple months ago and we're already seeing hundreds of patients. So it's, uh, I think there's some real, real life solutions on the horizon here. And that's encouraging. You mentioned the opiate crisis, you mentioned suicide crisis. Social media is really impacting um, people's well-being. Uh, that, that's interesting to hear it come up at such a big global forum like Davos. And social media does a lot of good things. It brings uh, people together. It brings you. It makes you more aware of topics you might not have been um, exposed to before. It is a conduit for my show, right? right? But there, there are some pitfalls to social media as well. There really are. I mean, you know, they uh, there's uh, depression is on the rise uh, across the uh, globe, and uh, there's a lot of linkage and a lot of studies that have shown that there's a linkage between the rate of depression and uh, and and social media, unfortunately. So, you know, I, I think, again, there's some great things about social media, but we really need to, to be uh, cautious. You know, it's kind of like, I, I liken it to vaping. You know, uh, everybody thought, you know, vaping was a great alternative to, to smoking. And it turns out that there are some dangers in, in vaping, which are real, and we're addressing those as well. But, you know, I, I think you're right about social media, and it is going to be a topic that's going to be discussed at, uh, at Davos and what we can do to at least put it in perspective. All right, and to wrap up here, when you think of um, global mental health prevention and care, it really comes down to a holistic approach. It really does. You, you really have to. Uh, and, and you know what? You also have to start with um, a different mindset for providers. So um, we need to 
to educate physicians. We need to train physicians of the future to think about the holistic approach when they're thinking about treating patients and really focusing in on the behavioral um, issues that are out there. We're doing that at the Hackensack Meridian School of Medicine, and I, I would you know, urge others to do the same because we, you really have to start at the educational setting. All right, Robert, great to have you with us as always. Good and thank you. you for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.